The Hawaiian Electric Grid has over 1,288 138 kV structures on its 28 transmission circuits. Add in all of the sub-transmission and distribution circuits, and the number of structures swells. Keeping all of this hardware operational and safe requires intensive monitoring and maintenance. Some structures are located on remote mountain ridges with harsh weather conditions. Eventually, time and environment take their toll and replacement is necessary to ensure reliable power delivery. This program for 2013 was to replace existing structures, both wood, steel, aluminum, lattice. They were aged and past their useful life and we're replacing them with new steel structures. The reason we're doing this now is because we're realizing that many of our wood pole structures and even some of the existing steel structures have reached the end of their expected life and we're trying to replace them now before they fail. Once the structures most in need of replacement are identified, design and engineering take place. Because of their location, most of the structures are custom, meaning they're not the same as the next one over. So, so the steel poles, the heights of them, the diameters of them, the way that they're framed, they're all unique. And so if we can order the materials and have it planned in advance, then we're not scrambling, our crews are not scrambling. Sometimes it's better for engineering design to gear your design a certain way, but it's not exactly constructible that way. We brought out contractors or even our own CNM group to get some of their input. So with the help of everyone, we were able to come up with a design that would meet and best fit the location for the structure. From the time a structure is designed and ordered, it takes about six months for fabrication and delivery. During that time, site work may take place. And some of the other major challenges was um, setting up a landing zone. There's so much homes involved in the area that we could not just put up a landing zone anywhere we pretty much wanted to. We had a lot of meetings with the customers to give them a heads up that we were going to be out there even like going to neighborhood board meetings prior to the project starting. There's a lot of legwork to be done just to get everything coordinated before we could even start. Some of the things that we faced this year were the government shutdown which affected our ability to get the FAA permit. Um, we had some bad weather with the flash floods. We try to plan as much as we can in advance and then when things happen that are unexpected, you know, we just try to use our best judgment and you know, do the right thing. And in the end, you know, it, it all boils down to basically communication and working with each other. This process is time intensive. During 2013, 49 138 kV structures were designed and built. To accommodate this aggressive schedule, both Hawaiian Electric and contractor crews were used. In addition, in cases where the structure needed to be replaced, the old structure had to be disassembled or demolished and materials recycled. We were only able to put up this record number of structures with the cooperation of a lot of different groups. With the buy-in of all the different groups, we were able to accomplish you know, a project of this magnitude. Um, 49 structures is no small feat. Um, a lot of these structures are, you know, have multiple circuits on them. So 49 were the existing structures that we replaced, but we probably put it to service you know, one and a half times that amount. We were able to do more poles this year because we worked with um, our system operations department, construction and maintenance, also engineering, to see where we were already going to be doing other projects, other work, not just replacing the structures. And we tried to coordinate our holdoff required to replace the structure with other ongoing work so we could limit and you know, combine the, the outage into one. We were able to get in a lot of these structures just because everybody was willing to go beyond the call and do more than they were asked to do.